Okay, so filming on the phone because I didn't bring a camera. Um, yeah, Adrian went up this morning, got some pretty good turns. Uh, we were doing the washing, pretty standard. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Adrian got lost, stuck in some power. That's like a waste open stuck <laughs> And so now we're just gonna get some lunch. It's one o'clock and we're gonna try to get up there the Savo. Looks very achievable. It's very blue. <laughs> it's very achievable. Um, I hope we can, I hope we can. <laughs> hey! Coffee acquired. But change of plans. We aren't gonna go up in the hill today. So it's gone from being achievable to not being bothered. <laughs> so, we're getting a food. Dookie dookie. We are sitting. This is the first sitting down food we've had. <laughs> this is just standard Japanese food. Ooh, yeah. Mm, yeah. This is the snow that we were talking about getting. <laughs> One thing we haven't learned is that uh, walking on snow with shoes is slippery. It's more fun that way. Hey, hey, dozo. Oh shit! All right, we made it to a shrine. So this is a little like walk with multiple shrines throughout. Uh, some of them you aren't allowed to walk in through though. Uh, but they're all signed. Yeah. Here's a bit of history and uh, tradition for you. That's what we tried to run up. Oh yeah. So that's what I tried to run up. <laughs> it doesn't do my justice on the steepness. Um. <laughs> technique, Adrian. It's all about the technique, isn't it? <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> and this is what you come across when you just wander. We found the cooking on some. Now this town as well onsen is actually originally uh, a local myth. A monk found the hot springs around here and used it and built inns and people would come here to get their medicinal cures. Uh, but it wasn't really made a modern town, it wasn't even called the same thing until about the 1880s and Nazawa Onsen itself has only existed since 1955. That's very young. <laughs> in 1998 held the biathlon event for the 1998 Nagano Olympics, Winter Olympics. So Nazawa Onsen is considered the second oldest ski resort in Japan. Uh, skiing was born to Japan about 1910, 1911 or so. Uh, but Nozawa Onsen came around with a particular guy, uh, one of the world's most famous ski instructors, an Austrian-Hungarian dude. He brought in the Alberg technique, which is essentially modern-day alpine skiing, um, parallel turns, things like that. Before this time, which was 1923, so even still, not that long ago. <laughs> even still. <laughs> God, dude, I'm trying to do commentary here. <laughs> even still, in 1923 is quite a recent period. Uh, the Japanese folk around the area in this village, which is still a popular tourist destination from the 1700s, um, they were skiing around on wooden little sticks in their kimonos, uh, dressed up as, as geishas, you could say. So we're still wandering through town. Yeah, not much to report. What's Just kind of one? enjoying the snow. Sarah saw cats. Sarah saw like, eight, saw like to ten cats. eight to ten cats in one like, house. Uh, in one house, just at the front. Um, Found the cooking onsen. An onsen, yeah. The cooking onsen. The, cook the cooking onsen. We saw stuff. We just saw stuff, you know. So we're gonna say. Because we, we're staying in another accommodation at uh, the end of this week. We kind of walk past the bikes and, and it looks beautiful. Uh, classic Ryokan, so traditional, futon beds and everything. So excited. Tomorrow night it's snowing? Oh, oh, tonight? No, all tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. All this week, it's gonna be snowing. All this week, it's gonna be snowing. 
which means <laughs> a lot more of this stuff. And yeah. Yeah! Okie dokie, dinner time. Yeah, Adrian had a nap and now he's all sleepy. I was editing yesterday's vlog, which I'm pretty keen on. So I'll link it. Yeah, now we're heading into town getting some dinner. Have a wander. Might be busy, but we'll see how we go. Genki Burger. Go there. Solid burgers. <laughs> One thing you do have to try is these apple buns. You are sting from on some water. Oyaki. Like what? Oyaki. Oyaki. So good. It's like an apple pie in a bun. Alrighty, so after being serenaded beautifully by those three men, we are now heading to heaven. Alright, so ending the vlog. Just heading back to our room. We got the snow monkeys tomorrow, which I'm gonna try to get a few runs in in the morning. Uh, but it should be either raining or snowing, so it should be really good to wake up to either one of those. Because it is my favorite conditions. So yes, good night nonetheless. See you in the next vlog.